A surprise development in Hunter Biden's criminal case, his plea deal with the government unraveled at the last minute. That's fueling anger among many Republicans who believe the president's son is getting preferential treatment. Eyewitness News reporter Carlos Granda joins us now with more on what this all means for Hunter Biden's case. Carlos. Well, things certainly took an unusual turn in court today. The plea deal, as you said, fell apart and is on hold. The judge had a lot of questions about it. The hearing ended with Hunter Biden pleading not guilty. Hunter Biden arriving to court this morning, and shortly after the hearing began, the deal began to unravel. Back in June, Biden agreed to plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges. He agreed to a pretrial diversion program, and in exchange, prosecutors would drop a felony charge for illegal possession of a firearm. The judge said she had concerns about the tax plea agreement linked with resolving the felony gun charge. The deal does not shield him from potential future charges. It's very rare for a defendant at arraignment to be pleading guilty right away. It sort of feels like a rushed uh, process when typically most federal cases, they last six months, a year and so forth. All this comes as the House is also looking at Hunter Biden's business dealings and if there's any connection with his father. I think that Hunter Biden clearly uh, has admitted to wrong, some wrongdoings and he was part of that in the, in, in the original deal. And so Hunter Biden is a private citizen and we should not judge his father based on his actions and clearly in this case, uh, some serious actions that he took that he needs to be held accountable for. The judge in the Hunter Biden case was appointed by Donald Trump. Republicans have criticized the arrangement, calling it a sweetheart deal, even though it was negotiated by a Trump-appointed U.S. attorney for Delaware, David Weiss, who President Biden kept in his role to oversee this investigation. It's very telling that the judge intervened here and said basically, no, I'm, I'm not going to approve some sweeping blanket deal. I mean, that, that tells you that the court has serious concerns about other potential charges here and also the scope of the deal, which has seemed outrageous from the beginning. And the White House wouldn't comment today, saying that the Hunter Biden proceedings are a personal matter and referred questions to his legal team. Prosecutors, meanwhile, confirmed the investigation into Biden is ongoing. I'm Carlos Granda, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.